Hi guys, how's it going? In this tutorial, we will learn how to use curve interference to make this pattern in Grasshopper. If you would like to learn Grasshopper step by step with much more details and better principle, you can come to our website and purchase Rhino Grasshopper from beginner to advanced. Okay, let's see how to do this pattern. You can find this part of the circles. They are close to the curve, but they are smaller and the further part of the circle they are bigger let's see how to do this in grasshopper oh you can drag the file into the grasshopper and let's see how to do it first i use the square grids you can find it in vector and grid find the square this one i just use it and i already cite the Length of the size is one. That's it. Let me show you step by step. Okay. And the x direction size is six. Say one, two, three, four, five, six. And y direction is 20. You can change them. Cool. And then I'm using the area battery to get my central points because I want to use this central points to draw my circles so it like this this is the circles if I don't connect to this one I use 0 0.5 because the grids I cited already for one so the biggest radius for the circle is 0 0.5 okay I see Cool. And also, we need to select this curve on the battery, this one. Select the curve. And then, we need to find the distance from the circle centric point to the curve. Use the curve closest point battery. Let's say connect the points to the points and connect the curve to the curve. This options distance. We can output the distance from each of the circle central point to the curve. If we get a panel, you can see all the distance shown here. Okay. But we can't use this distance to be our radius because the grid length is 1. We can't use 6.22, 5.2, 4.3. They are much bigger than the grids. We can't use them. But we can build different size of the circles using this distance. So we need to scale them down. If I time 0.05, Let's see the result. The first one will be 0 0.3, 0 0.2. The third one is 0 0.17. Make sure they are under than 0 0.5. And I need to make them smaller. Because when you connect this to the radius, the diameter will times 2. Okay, now we made it, but we will find there is some problems. This layer of the circles, they have double circles. Okay, so let's see how to make the single circles for the outside layer. I use another comment. We use the same thing, square, and number of the x direction, number of the y direction, Still connect to area to get the centric point and we use pull point in this time. In the last time we use curve closest point. Basically they are the same comment. Okay, so we connect the centric point to the point and curve to the geometry, but this option it can connect to the geometry, curve or point. But this one for the curve, it can't connect to the geometry. Cool. And then we still use the distance 
And now I use the division battery, or you can use multiplication, this battery. But basically, they are the same thing. Okay, so I just divide by 20 and connect to the circle. This one with no problem. So in the later tutorials, maybe use pull point much more than curve closest point. Cool. This is the end of the tutorial. Thank you for your watching, guys. If you like this tutorial, please click like and make sure you subscribe our channel. We will update two tutorials each week. If you have any questions, please comments below. Also, if you need the project file, you can download all of the materials after you become our blog members. I would like to thank all of our blog supporters, and we will do even better and more tutorials. Thanks for watching.